Is now to break this all down is Vining Sparks Chief Economist Craig Dismuke. Welcome to you, Craig. Good morning. Hey, good morning. All right. So, uh, what are we looking for this morning? What's what's hot on your agenda? So, uh, first of all, these they're important reports, especially the durable goods report. Uh, but right now, everything is is kind of secondary to the inflation data. I mean, that that's the real big why. Yeah, you know, that's the elephant in the room kind of thing, especially with Fed policy and what, what's the Fed going to do. Uh, but in the durable goods report, you know, I, I expect we'll see uh, at the headline level, orders are expected to be down. That's because of aircraft. So you have to look below that at the, at the core level. They're expected to be flat. I think what's going to be most important, though, will be the capital goods orders report. And as specifically, not on a month over month basis, because you get a little bit of noise, but on a quarter over quarter basis, orders have been pretty good. Uh, they're up 9.75 percent. That's where they're tracking for the quarter which points towards business investment being stronger in the future. So that, that's a good news. It's a good sign that business investment is stronger. If you look at shipments of those items, uh, they're up 2.75 percent quarter over quarter, which points to business investment being up 2.75 Okay. Well, you obviously look at these numbers really closely, much closer sure. than any of us. But so broadly speaking, where are we as far as economic progress in, the, in this recovery? Are we strengthening? And if we are, is it how slow no, or fast no. is it? Yes. Yeah, so no, I don't think we're strengthening. And, and to John's point earlier, when, when he mentioned that the consumer is so key right now, you know, this year has really been about the consumer driving economic growth. And there's been phases through this recovery slash expansion uh, where different parts of the economy are driving activity. Uh, right now, business investment has been weak. So it was down almost 5 percent in the fourth quarter of last year. It was flat in the second quarter of this year. Uh, and so business investment's been up and down, but overall has been weak. So it's good news that business investment's a little bit better. Uh, that's positive. Uh, but at the end of the day, the consumer is really what's key. And so it's, you know, again, it's it's an important report, but I think it's secondary to what's happening with the consumer and then again with, with inflation. So, Craig, Craig, I want you to settle a disagreement, a friendly oh disagreement between Dagan and me here about the housing market. So we're getting uh, home price data coming out. I say the housing market is uh, strong and getting stronger. And she says it's garbage outside of a few metro areas. So what, what, what's your verdict and what are we going to see in these home price uh, data that come out later today? Did I characterize your point yes. of view? Okay. And you use the word garbage, Gar which I Garbage appreciate. versus strong again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, so I, I think it's, um, yeah, home prices have been fairly strong. I mean, there's very little inventory. There you go. Um, there's, you know, construction costs are going up, uh, labor costs are going up a little bit in housing, uh, you know, lumber prices are down, so, but, but prices are generally going up. Now, it, it's very, the housing data is very en enigmatic right now. Uh, we're getting some weak data, I mean, existing home sales are better than expected last month, new home sales are down 11.5%. We keep getting this up and down activity. And, and so I would say that, yes, in general, the housing market is trending better. But I think there's a challenge, and the challenge is, if you go back and look at 2013, when mortgage rates rose 90 basis points, housing total sales fell 13 percent. So that was unusual to see that big of a drop from a 90 basis point increase. Mm. So you look at what's different in the housing market today than in previous cycles, and I think the biggest difference today is, is when you look at the number of owner-occupied units, which are down 2 million since 2005, and rent-occupied units, which are up 10 million since 2006. Mm -hmm. So we have more, we're, we're having a we boom have in the multifamily right, buildings, right. which is not good because people who rent cars don't wash them, right? I mean, I've rented a lot of cars on business trips. I've never washed one. So people who rent houses or rent multifamily uh, uh, places aren't going to make the kind of capital investment in, in their, where they're living that we had when we had more of an ownership society. So I think long term it's a challenge. But we, we saw in the last cycle the people overinvested in those homes Correct. And, and wasted a lot of capital in the process. In a lot of other countries, you don't have as much emphasis on home ownership, and they have perfectly civil societies that they live. Sure, but their economic growth hasn't been as strong as what we saw when we had more of a home ownership society. So, you know, I think that's, I think when you own something, you take more pride in it. You, you you're gonna, you're going to invest in it, uh, and so I think long term it's going to be a different housing market. You know, at the peak, and this was a bubble, but at the peak, housing was 6.2 percent. It's interesting. There's also demographics at play here, right? Well, that's I mean, a big one. I mean, the aging population is a big demographic issue. Uh, that I think will, uh, you know, I don't think gets enough focus at this point. What's selling their homes and buying condos. Right. Yeah. No, really interesting points all around. I don't think these seniors are all going to go out and start trashing their homes. No, right? no. So, I mean, it's, it's a different dynamic. Well, it's when, also from a renting perspective, it's almost like those houses have to main, be maintained to a higher standard because they're turned over so often and they have to be maintained. But that's... 
another discussion for another day. Craig, sure. great stuff. Thank you. Sure. Thanks. Really interesting perspective. That was right.